who we are working with. Right? So this is why we ought to be careful and be aware. Count those things that we could gain naturally. Count them last. The physical gain is good. The physical gain is good. And the physical gain is necessary. But don't put your confidence in the physical gain to the extent that you sacrifice your salvation for that physical gain. It's not that you should not earn money. Yeah. It's not that you should not go out to get money. But when that earning, as the scripture says, the love of money is the root of all evil. When money become your all mark, your number one priority and said I must get that all cost. That is where it becomes evil. That is where it is wrong. But nothing is wrong with money itself. But the love of it that will cause you to kill, cause you to destroy. And this is what causes it. Count those things that you could gain naturally. Count them lost for Christ. That means when you compare the physical with Christ, you say, no, I prefer to hold on to Christ. Don't allow the sacrifice for Christ. Sacrifice the natural thing for Christ. That, it, that don't mean that you must work if your boss asks you to work on a Sunday which when we come into service. It don't mean that you can walk off the job and say, boy, I need to work on Sunday and I work at all. Not so. It don't mean that. Because you can be at the job and you still yes. gain in Christ. Yes. Because when you go to work that Sunday and because you're not in service, you co-work and you say you, you tell the co-work about Jesus. And you minister to your co-worker and tell him about the saving grace. And who to tell? Maybe by the time the shift finish and you're coming off the shift and your co-worker coming off to him say, where are you going now? And he say, I'm going to church. And I say, I'm coming with you. You win Christ. But some of us, we are so self-righteous that we say, me, before we work, I left the work. When you leave the work now, the rent is supposed to be paid. Who going to pay it? Jesus. Jesus. Right? So when the landlord come and knock at the door and say, give me a rent, tell him, say, ask Jesus. The, 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 the landlord going to say, where is? Show me him. Me never rent Jesus nowhere, you never rent. What if I already provided? He did provide that you would actually join. Right, he provided a way for you to pay the rent and you chose the way. Yes. Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Yeah. Lack of wisdom. No understanding. We are fooled in our own way. So therefore, Paul put us on our guard and said, Look, those things. You could, you could gain, you count them lost. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but down, down, that I may win Christ. In order for us to win Christ, we can't put the natural things in front. We can't put it in front. We have to count them but down to win Christ. And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, 
which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. Paul says when he compares all his earthly possession to Christ, Christ's possession is priceless. The privilege is overwhelming. Those things that I gain naturally only for a time, it only can carry you to a level. But when you reach that level, it can carry you no further. But it's the riches that you gain in Christ, it carries you to that level and beyond. Eternal. To eternal. So it's best we get that blessings of the Lord, that knowledge of the Lord, that gain, that profit from the Lord, because it's going to carry us further. All I want is in Jesus. Everything is in Him. So, if I win Christ, I win everything. If I gain Christ, I gain everything. If I have Christ, I have everything. Because when you have Christ, when you win Christ, you're going to get wisdom, you're going to get knowledge, you're going to get understanding. So the wisdom of God will tell you that when you are working, you're working a long and safe, but you have to be as wise as a serpent, harmless as a dog. You are working among persecutors who are persecuting you, but yet still, you still work among them. You are working among liars, but you still working among them. You have some people who want to tell you, say, you know, that, why are you not working with us, you know? <laughs> you are so righteous that you don't want to work with the unsaved. Some people don't even talk to an unsaved. Because they say that we want to have nothing to do with the unsaved. But when you are of the true circumcision, you will be among wolves and they can't hurt you. You'll be among the dogs and they can't devour you because you are an aware Christian, you are an aware believer, you are on the alert, you are on the lookout. So Paul is saying, look, you don't have to say the way to self, but you must be wise. Those things that you could gain, you count them lost. You say that I may be found in him, not having my own righteousness, not having my own agenda, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. Why? That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings be made conformable unto his death. When you win Christ, you are praying to him, you are walking with him, you are pleasing him, you know him and you have faith in him. This is what Paul wants us to understand here. He said, when you are, when you know him, you are determined, you move step by step, you don't reach the end in one day, it's a step by step progression, it's a daily walk. So each day you recognize your fault, you drop off the fault. Each day you recognize another fault, you put it aside because you are walking with him. You have it, you win him. So each, because you win Christ, then he teaches you the way. He shows you where you are wrong and he tells you what to do. And this is where Paul said, and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. So once you win Christ, expect to go through some suffering. They want to bear 
some of the suffering. 